His name is Tom. Tom is a victim of love. He's a bit annoyed right now. <laughs> My grandmother used to say, love is a weapon. But the question remains, who are you fighting with the weapon? <laughs> okay, let's say love just happened to Tom. into this room like that. Sorry, son. Oh, hell no. Hell no, mom. Look, this is not only getting out of hand. It's becoming exasperating. For crying out loud, I'm naked in here. He can just badge in. What were you thinking now? You sound as if he came out from my belly gapped in heaps of clothing. What does your nakedness mean to me? You were naked in my belly for nine months and you ran naked in this house. Come on. I came in thinking you might need a massage. Oh no, thank you. Look, mom, with all due respect, I, I, I appreciate your love and care for me. But I'm an adult. And some of your, your, your actions are becoming strange to me. All right, so please, I need you to respect that I need some privacy. Okay, I can do things on my own. All right, and, and just, just please, just respect that, mom. Please. It's okay, I'm sorry. It's just the mother's undying love for her child. And I appreciate that. Okay, I do. But please, I need you to respect my own opinion as well. All right, the other day I woke up to you laying on my bed. You sent me some text messages, and then you asked for an account of every step that I take. Hey, come on, mom, please. I did the same for the past 29 years. Each time you love and appreciated what we share, but now I'm equally surprised. You're objecting to everything I do and finding fault with everything I do. But I think I know why. What are you implying, Mom? Someone has come in between us. Oh, come on, Mom. Yes. To steal our joy and happiness and to destroy all we have built over the years. Now tell me, who is she? Who the hell is she? Oh my God, this sports brat will not pick his call. Has he forgotten that today is his last day of injection? Pick no. I just wish I can get him off my mind. Yes, I'll be for my good. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Hi. Um, I wanted to tell you that today is your last day of injection for your treatment in case you've forgotten yes i know i'm already getting ready to see my sweet sexy nurse i'm sorry what did you say my sweet sexy nurse the one my heart beats for the real cure to my sickness the most caring affectionate and
So she's a nurse. Who? Mm -hmm. The woman that came in between us. She's a nurse, right? <laughs> Nobody came in between us. Look, our love, right, which is love between mother and son, it's bond. It can never be broken. All right, it's everlasting. So relax, okay? I'm, I'm going to the hospital. I took you to the hospital for treatment, and the Sandy took over you, Tom. Isn't it? What exactly are you saying? You're becoming unnecessarily impossible. I hope you understand the implications. I really do hope you understand. What implications? I, just, 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 just tell that girl, whatever her name is, to stay clear from you. Otherwise, she will have me to contend with. I promise you that. You know what I think? I think you're in need of a vacation. I'll organize that for you, okay? I'm running late. My ride is outside. I don't need it. Vacation. Love you. Just praise up. You I have need to contend you. with. But it was the latest. Do we worry you now? I'll be your fault now. I'm a kind of myself commission. I'm gonna give you better news. I will tell you, no worry, I will tell you. I don't say no pay for it, but I will tell you. If you see what happened between Madame and his son last night, see I will catch you. If you see arguments, see I will catch you. I never seen that kind of argument before. Tom confess, he can't leave Madame. Madame can't cry like baby. Madame, they cry. I can't see what they make my ram, they cry. What did the people be say? The car with me and Madame carry good mechanic for sure because they get more energy problem. Mm -hmm. Madame told us no go carry the car. If Tom no carry him, now what did make me jobless with that now? I'm jobless. I'm jobless. How did you know all these things? Based on say, are they jobless? You know, say when they hire me, now only driver they tell me. Laundry, no do my description. They can't tell me, say, hey, Madame, tell me, I'm do some laundry. I do the laundry. I go say, I go deliver for Madame. Bedroom. Now, I hear the argument. Too. As Tom come out, Madame can't hold Tom photograph. Come the car. Come the car. Are you serious? Ah! Are you serious now? Are you serious now? That woman loved this soon to the fullest. Hi. I wish my, I wish my mom could love me that way. I love that. Hmm. What are you even saying? Nothing, yo. This one you say you wish. Say make your mother love you like that. Okay. Oh, say you know, say now 14 years. I'm just saying. But I don't understand. What are you even saying? You don't cause. You know the street girl. She's saying wise now. Now 14 years old. 
if you are with mama, for now the you like that kind of love, for now the doing, now fourteen years old, I they tell you. This one, this this guy's story, you never know, do well. I don't understand. This guy's story, this guy's story. Ah, is it true? Are you okay? Yeah. Wait, okay. But why? Uh, I gave you an injection. How can it be this painful? I have to help you get to your right? Just wait. What is this? It's a sign of my love. It is pure. It is. Unadulterated and it's blazing. How poetic. It's from the bottom of my heart. Um, um, these are your, your, your drugs. Um, please take them as prescribed, okay? Um, Tom, look, I have been in and out of relationships and I don't want to be brought back to those memories, please. Yeah, but look. Mine is here to stay. Look, I'm the only one who will be here till the end of time. Okay, can you let go of me, Tom, okay? Look, this is my workspace. And I have patients to attend to. I have to go. Hey, Sandy. Sandy. Look, it wasn't the injection or the tablets that cured me. It was the feeling I got when I looked into your eyes. The care. The attention. The connection. The... Perfection. But, Sandy, I know you've been in bad relationships, but mine is going to be different. You will be my one and only true love. Please understand this. Tom, I can't. What is it, son? Tell me. You have a flower in your hand and you look disgruntled. What, 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 what is the matter? Every move, watch his mood and move. Watch whatever he does, wrap and pop back to me. Do you hear me? Okay. Now you can leave. so sad and moody. I mean, look at you. I wasn't expected to fall in love with him. It's just I couldn't admit it in front of him. And this would be what, the fourth time? After going through all those disastrous breakups. Babes, a heart is not a rock. So why did Jay, Sean and Chris break my heart? And they even tore it to shreds. But Tom is not among them. Tom is not one of those. I mean, you mentioned Jay, Chris, and the rest of them. Did you mention Tom? 
Come on now. This guy is a cool guy from a decent home. We attend the same church. And you know, I've always had my eyes on him, but obviously I'm not his spec. I will advise you to give this guy a chance, really. Why was I expecting you to say something different? Mrs. Nice Woman. Oh, God. Really? Really, Sandy? I mean, I wish I could just trade position with you. Meaning? Meaning you've gone blind overnight, babes. Can't you see? This guy is literally every woman's dream. Oh my God! What is wrong with you? Babes, you need to give this guy a chance to. This guy might end up being what your heart is yearning for. With him. Yeah. Sandy, sure you don't decrease it. Look, I know I love him, but how sure are you that he even loves me? Don't even, don't, don't. Hello? Hello. Sandy, why are you treating me like this? Why are you doing this to me? Look, please, um, whatever it is, can you just give me the address to your place so that I could come and we'll sort this out? Number six, Lambert Street, Lakey Phase One. Thank you. I'll be on my way. Okay. Trisha, why would you give him my address? My goodness, what is wrong with you? Why won't I give him your address? Why are you forcing this guy on me? Why? Oh, wow. Hey, hey, madam, don't even give me that look. So now I am the one forcing Tom on you, right? Babes, come on now. Why are you doing this to yourself? I mean, it's written over you. It's written all over you. Your heart yearns for this guy. And how sure are you that he loves me back? And how will you know if you don't give him a chance? You literally built a wall around you. Hell no. Not after all those disastrous breakups. Ha, <sighs> oh God, though, I beg you. Oh. I beg you. Oh. I don't turn to love counselor. What thing happened now, babes? This is not you. Eh, you need to loosen up. Give this guy a chance. Eh, stop all this now. Relax. Don't worry, it's coming. And st mm -mm 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 -mm. See, you need to, I need you to look very cheerful because that guy is coming. By the time he holds you in his arm, we'll see if you're going to be talking like this. Eh, eh. You better start smiling. Don't you? See your hair. Mm -hmm. eh? mm -hmm. Did you even brush your hair today? Eh? You are here crying. Mm -hmm. Smile now, smile. Ah, see, fine girl now. Ah, ah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, what is going on? Am I, am I okay? Do I look fine? Oh, my goodness. Should I go and change? Wait, wait. Are you really nervous right now? Eh? Babes! Where is the same person that has said, I don't want to talk to Tom, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do that. What Trisha, happened? Trisha, stop. No, stop. Come on now. Wait. Eh? You know, you look relaxed. You look, you know, say you're a fine girl now. You know you're a beautiful girl. You look beautiful. Your dress is fine. Everywhere is looking nice. Your hair is fine. Relax. Huh? Relax, you look fine. Just it's, it's just Tomo. No be Jesus Christ. Look. This is not the second coming of Christ that not die. <laughs> is, the, is the house fine? It, it... If the house is fine. Can you just relax? Relax now. Eh? We'll soon get here, catch you. <laughs> relax. Ah? Huh? Look at that. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, you look I see your hand. You even wear bag. <laughs> she even wear her bag clip when she know they wear. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> ah, 
Ah, God, when? God, when? No. Have you confirmed my suspicions? I'm still not sure. What did me say, no sure? Who is crying the night? Mm -hmm. Picking that in the morning. They ask me, say, who keep picking? What are you even saying? What are they talk? What are they trying to talk? We see, Madam and his son, they have after something. What is that at them? But what do I know? They say, because I go first. Something go happen, and I go live with me, Sam. Prophet of doom. Driver without a car to drive. Now be your fault now. Now you see me finish now. Go they make me go they look me less less. You see me now see finish now. Even though they fight now for, for, for myself, go to the mechanic, go carry the the the, 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 the car. Go they go go be right madam in the car. Go, 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 to witness the what will go happen. If something is not going well with them, I think all we should do is to pray for them and not you waiting for something to happen. I don't pray for myself. Oh. Because that. Wait. Wait, where did they even bring this one from, Steph? <sighs> Madam, we shall be lucky lamb by the go. One day for lucky face one, and another for lucky face two. And the cotta, we don't wish you now. You know still know the one where they go. Which one you they go? Um, I'm sorry. I think it's lucky phase one. Lucky phase one, please. Lucky phase one. Yes. You go talk since now. Now you let us the waka, the waka, the waka. Eh? Ah, I beg. I don't like this kind of wala. I'm sorry. Eh? I'm sorry. For no day, and they make me they waste my time like this. I'll pay you. I'll pay you. I'm sorry. So now lucky phase one, me. you go. Yes, yes. Take me, take me back there, please. If I reach lucky phase one, I need to carry you get anywhere again. Oh. It's okay. It's okay. It's lucky phase one. Sorry. streets in lucky phases and it brought me here better open these gates let me call me now before i vent my anger on you are you mad eh? am i mad no if i had chris in our joint he would just say are you mad are you chris are you chris are you mad or something now me they don't say i'm mad if i'm mad i go wake up so if i'm mad i go wait time now me see see what i wear i'm a big boy get my yes I'm a big boy, get man. I don't work for mortuary. I work for mortuary. 12 years. I don't care what you think. You I don't go, care what you, you think. You don't care. Is this on number six, Lambert Street? Mm -hmm. Is now this place on number six, Lambert Street? Okay, now only this place, I'm in Lambert Street. Eh? Now only this place, I'm in Lambert Street. See, me, I'll tell you this work, eh? eh? My papa, my grandpa, and I first one. My papa, Kana. Me, sir, I Kana. See, eh? My head correct you. If your own head no correct, eh? Nothing concern. I say, nobody the way they live here. When they be a sand, sand, I'll be waiting for that. If you know, if you don't have sand. This house, not number six, Lamba Street. Mm -hmm. Now, this, not only this way, I'll be the Lamba. Eh? You can't talk, say, you map, you, you, you goggle. No! Well, if, 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 if I just use some, I'll, I'll make you use uh, some more. Go, 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 go. I will just wait here until either she mm -hmm. or my son comes out. Mm -hmm. I think I'll start tackling this mess before it degenerates. Madam, madam. Just enter. No, if I enter. I put the gun on me. Woman. 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 I will deal with you. Woman. I will deal with you. Why not? I will deal with you. Enter. I put this gun. I say enter. I put this gun. I was confused at some point, but later I understood. I think I made a stupid <laughs> confession. <clears throat> Come on, babes. Far from it. See, when you're in love, you see crazy things. Trisha. But I'm saying the obvious. Sandy, hmm? are you truly crazily in love?
said the heart of man is so evil Can make them do the unimaginable But I know that our love we prevail We can make it if we try Hold your bread and count to five I know that our love will prevail It doesn't matter What happened? He told me Like everything just happened so fast I I can't remember anything Me too And I wish we could I... Do it again Return, don't tell me say anything like what. Then we return. When? Since when me and you don't need to work for madam, madam never stay outside beyond eight. And this is past now, madam never come. You don't get conscience. What can we do? No, tell me. The only thing we can do now is nothing but wait. We can do more than wait. Flash madam, you get credit. Flash madam, let madam call you back. How we go nowhere, where we go, we go, we go, we care, yeah, we care. Waiting be your work for this house. I be driver, but since car day for two, day break on this side, I don't talk to security. Then find one place, fix yourself. See, they worry you now. Eh, hey. madam. Babe, everything happened so fast, like a movie. <laughs> Thank God this is coming from you, fighters. But it shouldn't have happened, at least not on my first day. I swear, I feel so cheap right now. Come on, babes. It's nothing, you are an adult. <sighs> By the way, you know he also said the same thing about you. Wait, you're talking to my man behind my back. Oh my goodness. Don't give me that look. I was when I saw him off when he was leaving. Sorry, now I forgot. It's okay. But wait, babe, he told you all that. And much more. Like, babe, die. What did you do to that guy? You did bust in his head, like, you did scatter in that guy. The guy said a lot about you, how he's crazy in love with you, how he's mad about Babes, I'm sure you've dealt with him in Zaoza. Mm -mm. Bad girl. Mm -hmm. hey, go and get me water. Go and get me. I trust my friend. Whatever your majesty, whatever you want, I will gladly go and get it for you. They <laughs> say the heart of man is so evil, can make them do the unimaginable. You but went to school her, right? What was the issue? I'm an adult. I have the right to my life. No, you are wrong. And that will never ever happen again. Why? Because you are mine and mine alone. Mom, I think you need help. I don't care. Say whatever you like. But I will not allow any woman have you while I'm still alive. Okay, okay. Can you hear yourself? What has come over you? You are my mother for crying out loud. I am an adult. I have a right to my love life. And that doesn't mean anyone is taking me away. Stay away from her and from any other woman. Don't say I did not want you for your own interest. And I will not repeat myself. Don't say. Christ. I think my mother needs help. She's sick. This is some sick level. Sir, please sit. You're the last person I expected in my house. Well, that is because I hold you in a very high esteem. And of course, I... You're one of the best to have in the hospital. 
That is why I never wanted to embarrass you at the workplace. But I waited for you to be off so that I can talk to you. Doctor, sir, but what happened? I know I deliver my duties professionally. Of course. Your professionalism and um, dedication to duty is never in doubt. But if you want to continue working in this hospital, or any other hospital in this city, you must learn to face your job. And keep off other people's businesses. Especially that of Lady Mandy Ike and her dog. Tom, I would like to see you in my house right now. Yes, like right now. Mommy, must tell me why you decided to be a hindrance to my happiness. On the contrary, Tom, I want your happiness. So then why all this? Pure happiness. Why all this then? Everlasting happiness. Why all this intimidation then? Wait until your 30th birthday, then you will understand. Huh? Fine. Well then until my 30th birthday, stay away from my love life with Sandy. Alright, because I love her and she's the one I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. Shut the hell up! Are you stupid? You slapped me. I will slap you again and again if you mention that girl's name here again. I will slap the hell out of you. Wait, Mom. What is your issue with this girl? Because she once told me one time you met her at the hospital, you had nothing but praises to sing of her. You told her how you like her personality, her work presence and everything. So what has changed? What is it? What did she do wrong? Nothing. Nothing? Yes, nothing. Then what's all this with her? It's not just about her, but about any other woman. Thumb, you cannot have an affair with any other. But who? You can't. But who? Wait till you're 30. Well, it's too late because I've already made love with her twice yesterday. That I will forgive, but never again. Never and ever should it happen again. This must be one of your sick games, is it? Those games you used to make me play when I was younger? It must be one of it, right? Well, let me tell you something, Mom. I'm ready to play. Oh, really? Yes. Then brace up for the game of your life because I will not hesitate to crush anyone on my way. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Thanks. I honestly don't know what her problem is. She's not the mother that I grew up knowing for the past 29 years. And the worst part is it's not even just about you in particular, it's about any other woman. Okay, now I'm scared. Hey, don't be. Look, love conquers all, okay? You know, I'm thinking her fear is the fact that maybe if I get a woman in my life, I would reduce the attention and love I give to her. Something, I don't know. I have reassured her that that's not going to happen, but, but I'm guessing we'll probably need to give her time to come to terms with it. But still, can't you just see? See what? What else could it be? Your mom is in love with you. Yeah, I mean, she's my mom now. My mom has been in love with me since the day I breathed my first breath. All right, but my one and true love right now is you. All right, kiss me. Tell me, serious. Come here. Mom? So you did not heed to any of my warnings, Tom? What are you doing here? How did you even get into this place? My friend, get out of here this minute! No. Not until you tell me what's going on. 
What's the meaning of all this? Oh, really? Okay. If you refuse to heed to my warnings, then I will direct it to you, nurse. Stay away from my Thomas. He won't be seeing any woman in his life. Not you, not anyone. Not in this life. Stay away. Stay so far away so that you could leave. To so before one is to before armed. Do not say I did not warn you. You are thoroughly warned. Do not say I did not warn you. No sense. No, Tom. No. Don't touch me. Okay, just leave. Just go. Go and talk this. Aunt. This is sorted out. Tom, please. I promise you, okay? This is going to end well. Don't, don't touch me. Don't. Just, just, hey, just, hey. Go. Hey. Hey. I'm not gonna give you updates. What be your thoughts? Babes, can you stop crying now? Hey, cheer up. All these are minor obstacles and it will come to pass. When, Trisha? When? When will that day come? When will I ever enjoy that four letter word? That four letter word, love. Can you stop sounding like this? You know I don't like it when you sound like this. Can you please stop crying? Everything will be all right soon, I assure you. Why? Do I look like a statue? Why? Why me? Just when I thought I found love. That I'm enjoying love, that all these obstacles come. Why? Why all this? Why me? Trisha, tell me why. Can you stop crying? I miss you. It's time. You'll be all right. Good. She has not reported to work for the past two days. Yes, sir. Did you care to find out if she's all right? Well, she texted me that she'll be taken off for some time concerning some personal issue, but she didn't mention what it is. Personal issues. Yes, sir. It's all right. Do well to cover up for her, okay? I'll find out whatever it is. Okay, sir. It's okay. Tom, please don't do this to me and open this door. Please. It's been three days now and you've refused to eat anything. I'm so sorry, please. You're wasting your time, Mom. The only thing that will make me open that door is if Sandy is here. If you want me alive, then go bring her back. All right? If not, I will just die and leave this world for you. Since you've decided you don't want my happiness. Don't stop this, please. Open this door, please. Please, I beg you. There's something I want to tell you. Please. Forget about it. Forget about it, mom. Bring Sandy here or you forget about me. Period.
Sandy, what is exactly happening with you? I'm talking to you. What's happening with you? Nothing, sir. Nothing. This is the third day you have not reported to the hospital. You have not even resigned. And you just say nothing. Sir, what is troubling me is personal and it's weighing me down. Sandy, did I repeat it to you that you are one of the finest nurses we have in that hospital. And we don't want to watch you lose your life. We don't even want to lose you. Doctor, what is that supposed to mean? Stay away from Lady Mandy E.K. and her Thomas. Stay away! Doctor, this is the second time you're telling me to stay away from Lady Mandy and her Thomas. What is that supposed to even mean? Isn't he supposed to be her son? Return to work and stay away from them. Sandy, stay away. Stay away. They say the heart of man is so evil Can make them do the unimaginable Okay, um, you've actually done your best. Yes, I will apply the sixth measure. Yes, so keep what is secret, secret, okay? I will see you on the other side. Bye. I just feel like we're in a way. Going somewhere else, going somewhere new, starting afresh, going to a new country. Trisha, I'm tired of this constant threats. I'm tired. It's like love is not even meant for me at the end of it all. Because I don't understand anymore. I, I, um, see, you, you can go and see her and do whatever you like with her. I have no power to stop, you know. Please say something.
Tom, please talk to me, please. Please. I'll, I'll, I'll be in my room if you need me. loves you as much as you love him. And maybe this thing his mother is doing is just her own way of, you know, testing you guys' love to see if you guys genuinely love each other. You know some mothers are like that. And that's the reason why I'm going to fight. And fight and continue fight until I overcome. That's my girl. That's my girl. I mean, that's my Sandy that I know. That's the spirits. You know, in Tom, I see the love oh. in his eyes. His voice, Aww. his touch, his everything. Oh my God, that I go love. Oh. <laughs> God win. God win. I love that. This is how I want you to be. I want you to continue to be positive and be smiling and be happy like this. Oh, like I don't want you to you. ever, ever, I don't want to ever see my baby girl sad again about. <laughs> Friend Sandy, where is she? What is the meaning of this useless question? What is my business between two of you? Eh? I told you there that my hands are off and you're asking me this nonsense. Sandy has just been kidnapped. I'm not a child, Mom. I'm not a child. I know that whatever you came up to my room to tell me was a ploy to make it look as if you give your consent, whereas you go behind to perpetrate your evil act. Thomas, are you losing your head and your, and your senses over that silly girl? You know what? I foresaw all this. I did. Lady Mandy, the question is where are you keeping her? Excuse me! Did you just call me by my name? I'm asking you! Are you stupid? Why is this rider now? Why is it taking my time? Well, I... You saw the address on the phone now. Madam. Yes, how are you? I'm so sorry for disturbing you. Mm -hmm. As you say, the book ride again. And we have the latest car in town. Make I go carry the car for mechanic workshop. So I go feel the carry up and down. Because hey, all these riders, some of them are kidnappers. Oh. They go, hmm, people will talk, oh. they will talk. Oh. Let them all go to blazes. I don't care. And you, if you stalk me like this next time, you'll see what I'll do to you. Now get out of this place. My bad.
Guy, calm down now. Calm down. I don't tell you the man no go for us. In don't deal with the career money come. Uh -uh. Now I may bring the job now. No worry. I no go give you anything. Go. You don't understand now. He go sup. He go carry and come. He don't deal road already. Any I be. If you don't come, I go call you when you come. Make up my carry the money come give you. No worry. You go sup. Yeah, yeah. So, you said uh, you have reported to the police? Yes, doctor. And? Uh, well, they gave me a statement which I took to the nearest hospital where she's receiving treatment. Without the statement, they wouldn't have commenced treating. Treatment. It's okay. It's yeah. alright. Um, I just hope that not the bastard that did that to her. Yeah, me too. I'll just pick a few things and then we'll proceed to the hospital. The owner is a friend. I've reached him to make sure she receives all the attentions needed. Okay? Right. I will join him as soon as we get there. Right. Let me pick a few things so that we can see. Madam, the son specifically named you as the prime suspect. Thomas, please. Yes, Thomas. I haven't named you the prime suspect. May we know where you were? during the time of the incident. I beg your pardon. I'm not aware of any incident. And as for where I was, I was out shopping for groceries. Groceries? Yes. Groceries. G. R. O. C. E. R. I. E. X. That is the spelling of groceries. May we know why you choose to shop for groceries yourself when you have a maid and a driver in the house who could do that for you? And at the exact time that we presume the attack was carried out or fully committed? Hello? I don't know what you're talking about. And by the way, who says I can't shop? when I have maids, even if I have hundreds of them. Sorry. Who said that? Sorry, madam. We are doing our work. Then ask relevant questions. When your son reported the incident, your line was placed on recording by the telecommunication company you subscribe to. And when it's been analyzed, if you have a case to answer, surely you will be invited to the station. But for now, to go leave. Please shut the door your way out. From the analysis of the conversation your mother had, the moment you reported the case, she spoke to voices which we can establish as women. And all the discourse was business supplies and the rest was a call she put across to you, which you never picked. What you're saying is that she does not have a hand in the attack? No. All we've gathered so far points to that direction. We questioned her yesterday and she was well composed. Literally, we would have noticed some jittering and stuttering, but nothing like that appears. Who did it then? Someone we cannot establish for now. Someone we need to keep searching for. Definitely not your mother. Yes, Trisha, you said that she is your friend. Good. There is an evil eye over her. That evil eye is watching every of her moves and actions. I mean, it is militating over her um, 
doings with that guy Tom. Now, as soon as she regains consciousness and strong enough, take her far away. I mean, far away from here. Take her to Benin, Togo, or even Ghana. Let her go there and start up a life. Oh, of course she will, she will. Her case is not as bad as we earlier envisaged. In a week or two, we anticipate her discharge. Then she'll be coming from home for checkups and uh, physiotherapy. You're welcome. I'll be going back to my hospital now. I'm working on her transfer over there so that I can have an eye over her 247. I'm disappointed at you that after 29 years you still do not know who I am. I'm utterly disappointed at you. Mama, I already said I'm sorry. A lot of things has happened between us and anyone in my shoes would have thought the same thing. Anyway, <laughs> you will understand what is important between us one day. Between us? Aishi. She's fine. The doctor said her injuries are not as bad as we thought. That she will recover in a matter of weeks. Hmm. That's nice to hear. And you, Tom, better watch your back because you might not know who will be locking in the dark. Okay. Just watch. Now you want to get me worried. Just watch your back, Tom. Okay, just watch your back. Sure. Thanks for being there at my lowest time. Yeah. Look, I meant it when I said I love you. Good or bad, sickness or health. I do. I believe in your love. And I love you so much. Like I will love you till the end of time, okay? I don't care about what you think. I know my job and I'm doing it well. Listen, I have been in this business for 32 years. You can go and ask those that recommended me to you. Oh, of course. Sometimes you become unnecessarily apprehensive and I don't like it. Look, I have a job to do, please. Babe, what the hell are you even saying? Babes! This doctor was very serious when he gave me this warning. You need to forget about Tom now and flee for your life. I am not running away. I'm staying put. I'm not moving any an inch, yo. I'm not. Ah, a while ago you were saying stand and fight. And now, this? No, babe, now. I am not going anywhere. You know, I, I am standing to fight for the man I love. And that loves me equally. What are you even saying now? Oh, goodness. Look, I'm not scared of anything. 
I think you're misunderstanding me. <sighs> you're misunderstanding me. It's not like I want you to forget about Tom. But this fire is too consuming for you to Babe, stand on it. I am not going anywhere. I, do you hear yourself? Sandy, you can you see what these guys did to you? Can you see what these monsters did to you? Nothing else matters apart from Tom to me right now. And he's the man I love. And I know he loves me. I'm not going anywhere. Oh my goodness. I'm literally very worried, babe. And you're not getting this. I am not going anywhere. <sighs> if you say so. So she refused to leave town. So where is she? Anyways, I have done my bid as um, someone who really cares. I just hope um, she finds true happiness. I wish her well. Bless you too. Bye. Exactly what you asked for. By killing my Thomas? Are you crazy? Of course. We have to make it look real. Nobody would believe the story if she was shot alone. Look, we have to make it look like robbery. Her house was scattered, jewelries and other things scattered away. In this game, we don't leave traces. What if he dies in the process? Fool! Did you ever consider that? Thomas was only shot on the leg. And as for her, she's history. Look, woman, I can't wait for him to turn 30 so that I can rest. Why? An agreement is an agreement, and a secret is a secret. 
woman were in a game. And I am playing my part very well. I tell you this again, Lady Mandy. I can't wait for him to turn the freaky 30 so that I can rest. Let's end this forever. Look, let's meet at the ballroom tonight so that we can settle this forever. Now get this into your head. I'm not doing anything with you until I see my son, my Thomas, return back to this house. And by the way, why did you order your staff to prevent me from seeing Tom at the hospital? Why? We're in a game, woman. And I am playing my part very well. Don't joke with me. If I don't see you at the ballroom tonight, hell will let loose. <laughs> This is an idiot. Ah! An idiot, honestly. Hey. 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 actually put up a fight and they were shot. That's what I suspected. Are you sure this is the case of armed robbery? To me, it's purely an assassination. <laughs> Look at you. Which assassin would waste his time robbing a nurse after shooting her? I don't think so. Well, let's just gather where we'll get here and take to the forensics. Are you sure? I'm sure. Okay, I got this. That's a blood stain over there. Look, woman, I waited for 29 years. Yes, we agreed it will be on his 30th, but I can't wait any longer. And I'm I, running out of patience. And I cannot manipulate the will as well. Everything is with the security company. I can't pay you unless they pay me. You lie. You lie. You have more than enough to settle me. You are deliberately delaying paying me off. You are only using me for your own selfish interest. I did all we agreed. I even went the extra mile. I am running out of patience. You must wait, Raymond. The cash in question here is $92 million. The date of his 30th is with the security company. And the will states that it will transfer to him on that day and they have given to me if I did not remarry. I have not married, Raymond, and you know it. What is wrong with you? You will have to wait, because if you can wait for 29 years, you still have to wait for the remaining one year for us to share the wealth of Honorable Duncan Bassey, the man you helped me to remain in the house, the man you also helped me to kill. What is wrong with you? You are reminding me of you are reminding me of Why shouldn't I remind you of the one you're talking what rubbish I don't know? Why do you want me to get money to pay you? Have they paid me? I did not just kill only your husband. I also killed his brother and not the nurse. All for your sake and this damn money. You hear raising your voice at me? And I won't hesitate to kill you if in the next one week I am not settled. I want to leave this country after committing all this evil. I also want to quit the medical profession, which I have abused. My friend, just please just go with your empty threats. I don't have money for now. If the money comes, I'll give to you. And that is what it is. That is the arrangement. Lady Mandy, I need my money. I have inserted the details of my final settlement in your bag. Go against it and go dead. Before any confession, please, where is Sandy? Where is she? What's her state of health? And why haven't you got to me another phone? Or help me retrieve my sins since the other one was stolen? Thomas, if you keep shouting, you'll keep compounding. Where is she, man? Listen to me. Where is she? Sandy can wait for now. No! 
Everything can wait except Sandy. Where is she, mom? Where is she, mom? I'm not your mother, Thomas. I'm your wife. This mood, this intensity, you, you choose to, to lay this stupid joke on me? I'm not joking, Thomas. We were married. We were legally married in a court in the northern region where marriages between an adult and adolescent is accepted. Dr. Ray bankrolled everything, including your theft from the woman that gave birth to you. Yes, he did. I see. This is a wedding picture. And this one is a wedding certificate. What nonsense is this? I could not give back six years of my marriage. The pressure from his family was too much. Duncan Bassi was a very wealthy man. In order for me to remain in the house, I had a deal with Dr. Ray, his personal doctor. I faked, I faked two months pregnancy. Within that time, Dr. Ray administered an injection that incapacitated him. After nine months, he stole a day male baby for me. That child is you. Doc can't believe in he has an heir wrote his will. And we thought he would will everything to you in my care so that I can share it with Dr. Ray and setting him for good. But there was a course your father put on the wheel. He said all he has should be sold and kept with, with the security company until you're 30. Within that time, if I don't remarry, 5%, 5% of the cash will be given to me and the rest will be given to you. I, all his mansion and companies were sold. Only this house and the printing business is left for us to live on. That is the truth. That is the truth. So, you got everything then. Why this unholy marriage and why still attack Sandy in the first place? Why? Thomas, please, as you grew, I loved you like the love of my life. I never loved Duncan for one day. It was all about the money from day one. Dr. Ray suggested that I marry you. Yes, that I'll tell you about it when you were 30, on your 30th birthday. He also said that the euphoria of the of the words will to you we blind your eyes for you to play along dr ray loved money so much he can do anything for money he saw your affair with sandy as a spoiler to the day although i i i initially expressed the fear but it was the one who orchestrated everything he did that dastardly act on her not me so speaking of Sandy, what exactly happened to her? He killed her. He killed her? Yes, Sandy is dead. I'm so sorry. Please, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I would have told you all this before now. Please. Please forgive me. Please.
and you think only you can play the game. You just wait till you see what I have in stock for you. I am Ray Sambo. And you should know that I have my way to everything I want. Everything and anything. You must be a fool to think I will share 92 million dollars with you after toiling for 29 years. <laughs> I gave you the boy. He did his part and I told him everything before you did. Dr. Ray, you did this to me? <laughs> oh my God, I should have known. Oh, you should have also known that um, a young, handsome boy like this will never end up in an old house. Excuse you! Do not be stupid. Um. He will have his girl, and then we will share him. And I'll kill you like I killed him. <laughs> Dr. Ray, you know you will never escape from this. I said, don't be stupid. Um, Doc. Doc. Doc, can I do this, please? I've waited a long time Thomas, for this. Thomas, please, no. Thomas, please. Please. Thomas, please. Thomas, please. You should be I saying your last you. prayers, okay? I beg you. Thomas, please, I beg you. Thomas, please, I beg you. Thomas, please. Thomas, please. Exactly what you told me to do. They are here. Yeah, so you can come with your men and take them away, please. Yeah, thank you. Please. If you make any move. Please. Please. They say the heart of man is so evil. Can make them do the unimaginable But I know that our love we prevail We can make it if we try Hold your bread and count to five I know that our love will prevail It doesn't matter what comes our way it is you and I forever, baby. Yes, I know that our love will prevail. 